A lot of, I'll do this for the Arab crowd. Uh, a lot of kids are in therapy. Kids, kids, kids are in therapy. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind a, you know, poke fun at people with triggers, but I don't think they understand what the fucking Arabs, what we went through, our generation. Yeah, we were assaulted and we were hit, but the fucking shit that we went through, the mental breakdown, the fucking embarrassment. And take for example, coming back home late. What's your, how old are you? How old are you? <laughs> You're within 22, 23? Yeah? Okay, so she's old shit, sorry. Uh, Anytime a girl does this, she's like 40. Uh, but you have, anybody here like under, I got it, I'm, I'm doing the rest. Anybody here under 23, 22, something like that? Yeah, yeah, really? Thank you, Uncle Ben, I appreciate it. And young kids, dude, I swear to God, young kids right now, if they fucking come back home late, you know what their parents do? Nothing. I swear to God, right? You guys have heard of this. They come, what the fuck did we go through when we came back home late? So I'll paint a picture for you guys. Okay, I might pay attention to this, okay? I don't know if you went through this shit, but just understand the mental fuck that our parents put us through. Everyone here, they're not audiences, they're fucking victims, okay? <laughs> All of us here came back home late once. Once. My curfew was once, 10 o'clock. Okay? I was 16 years old. I took my mom's minivan. I went to a fucking party. I came back home at 5 in the morning. It was a good, dope-ass fucking party, though. And everyone here has had that fucking decision to make before. Do we go home? Is this worth a beating? Or is it worth me being at the party? So I made an assessment. And I'm like, this party needs me. Right? So, I was like, I'm gonna get beat, you know, I'm gonna get a fucking couple slaps, you know, a couple kicks in the rib, you know, wake up with a couple bruises, aight, no big deal. Got Benadryl, ibuprofen at home, I'm good. Came back home at 5 o'clock in the morning, got out my mom's minivan, took off my sneakers. Sneakers don't make noise. I fucking took off my sneakers, and I'm walking on so with socks. Opening the door, right, with two hands, not one, two, I don't even want the keys to touch. Literally turning my body and turning the, she knows exactly what I'm talking about. Turn the knob, right, because outside, Mike, it's pitch black, dark, which means one thing, parents are asleep. You're like, fuck yeah! I just gotta make it into the house and make it into the bedroom. I'm gonna take a gamble and say I came home at like one. You know it's not gonna work, but it's a fucking gamble. You just roll the dice. That was the plan. It's pitch black. Guess who's sitting in the fucking dark? Dark! No candle, no nightlight, nothing! Nothing! You ever see a cartoon and the screen goes black and you see two eyeballs running around? If your kids came home, you'd have a conversation with them. Hey, why'd you fuck? Hey, what happened? Curfew? Did you get uh, Did you get in an accident? Was the freeway closed? Uh, what? Did you get sick? What happened? You want to ask? Cause you have an education. You're polite. You have a heart, and you care for your children. My psychotic father doesn't give a fuck. So I open the door, turn on the light verbatim. I swear to God, I can't make this up. This is exactly what happened. Allah, Allah! Shit, right? So I'm like, what did I do? Naturally, as a human, 
When somebody's yelling and somebody else is sleeping, my sister's sleeping, my mom is sleeping, so I shushed him. I felt bad. I didn't want them to wake up. I was like, shh. He's like, shush, let's sleep. You know what he said? 435 and you're at you mother bitch! <laughs> I don't remember what happened after that. So. 